Hello and welcome to another introduction video workshop to Blender. This workshop has been put together for students in the Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences and hopefully we've just explored a previous video workshop where we were introduced to some of the basic mathematical concepts when working in this wonderful 3D modeling and animation software which can be downloaded at blender.org. In this video tutorial we're going to look at some of the controls in Blender and how we can move objects around. Um, and what I'd like you to do now is just open up Blender um, because we are going to be trying to um, follow this video tutorial by actually interacting um, with our Blender software. So if all of you just uh, open up Blender 2.5 now in your computer screens. Hopefully everyone has a three button mouse. Um, what do we mean by three button mouse? Well exactly that, it has three buttons to it. Usually a left button, a right button and then a scroll button in the middle which can be pushed down um, or scrolled back and forth. For those of you on Apple computers, any Apple mouse from the last probably few years uh, have the ability to be three button mice but you do have to change their default settings in system preferences and just click on a tab that uh, will basically activate the three button mouse mode. Um, so you do have to do that in system preferences and I do encourage you to possibly stop this tutorial and do that now if you haven't done so already. Otherwise um, it's going to be a little bit um, confusing um, when I begin talking about um, controlling um, uh, using controls with the mouse. So um, when you open up Blender you are um, introduced to this window. Um, you can come out right now by just a left click and we're now ready to interact with this, uh, this software. We spoke a little bit about windows in the previous tutorial, how you can open and close the windows very easily. Um, this main window is called the 3D Viewer and the reason why it's called the 3D Viewer is we are able to look at our world, our 3D world. And we're going to talk a little bit about the mouse now. We have the, we have the ability to zoom into our world and we can zoom out of our world. And how we do that, if everyone can follow me now, is with the mouse key, with the mouse, with the middle button, which I refer to as the scroll scroller, we can scroll forward and we can scroll back. We can scroll forward and we can scroll back. The other great thing we can do with, the, with this scroll button is that we have the ability to move around or move, move the perspective. How we do that is we hold down the middle, middle button, the scroll key. I'm going to push down on it now and I'm just going to move my mouse around. You see that? I have the ability to scroll around forward and back or I can hold down my button and move my world around. So what I'd like you to do now is just try that out. Um, all of you should have the default cube object in front of you. I'd like you just to scroll into one side of your ob object, scroll out, and then move the scene around to another face and scroll in and scroll out. And cubes have six faces. What I'd like you to do is go to every um, face in the cube, scroll in, scroll out, move to your next face, scroll in, scroll out and then go to the top scroll in scroll out and then you can go all the way underneath completely demonstrating why this is a 3d environment scroll in scroll out and do that maybe once or twice just so you're starting to get used to it i know it can be a little bit complicated at first but trust me um, it's a great little tool to have being able to quickly scroll in work on your object scroll out a little bit, move the object around, scroll back in, work on it a little bit more. It's a really great tool to have once you get the uh, used to the functions. Now while you're doing that, I just want to uh, talk a little bit, just a little bit of a recap on the last tutorial. F feel free to continue just moving that, uh, playing around with that scroll key. Um, over here I'm just going to push this little uh, button at the bottom here which has the ability to change between uh, if I see my object uh, as a solid or a wireframe. Basically if it's solid I'm, um, the uh, faces are shaded. Um, if it's wireframe my faces are not shaded. 
This is a mesh object. Who can remember what a mesh object is made of? It's made of polygons. Who can remember what polygons are made of? They're made of edges, vertices, which are the corners, and faces. And the most simplest polygon is a square shape or even simpler, a triangle. And all of the mesh objects in Blender are made using these polygons that form these mesh objects. So hopefully you're all feeling confident now um, with this zoom in, zoom out with the middle key and holding it down to move your scene around. Now what we're going to do is just introduce you to some of the other buttons with our mouse as we introduce you to some of the other objects that are by default in our scene. So I'm just going to move around now and you see this little triangular uh, or this little object made of triangles. Now guess what that is? That is the camera. Okay, and this camera is very, very important because it will render what it sees. Just like a real movie, you have your 3D world, like the real world, but the only thing which will be captured in your project is what is in the camera's view. What the camera sees is what will be captured, and that's why camera shots, learning about a close-up shot, a medium shot, are very, very important. Now to demonstrate what I mean, I'm going to introduce you to the um, a little uh, button down here called View. And you have the ability to change the view of your 3D world. So right now I can click on Back View and I can look at the back of, of my object, or rather the back of my scene, shall I say. I can look at the left of my scene, I can look at the right of my scene, and guess what? I can look at the camera of my scene. So what is the camera seeing? So I uh, left click there and you can see this is what the camera will see. So when I come to render my image, so just to do a quick practice render, I go to the top left hand corner, click on render image and click there. You can see I'm going to render my object and it's only going to show what is in the, um, in the camera's view. And we'll come to this in a little bit more detail later on um, as we set the uh, activity for this workshop. Um, you don't have to worry too much about it now, but I just wanted to introduce you um, all the concepts of this object um, right now while, while we begin talking about it. So this is the camera. Very, very important. Now, right now, the object which is active in my scene is this mesh cube. And you can see it's active because it has these little orange glow around it, a little orange highlight. When you, act, when you have an object that's active in your scene, you're basically saying to Blender, hey, I'm interacting with this object. I want to edit this object. I want to move this object. I want to rotate this object. Okay. So in order to um, activate different objects to work with, what you do is you use the right key. So I can go over to this, the camera now, which is another object in my scene, click right click, and now I've activated this object and you can see that um, the cube no longer has this orange glow around it and now the camera is active because it has this orange glow around it and now using these man manipulator tools which are your arrows, your axes, axes okay, I have the ability to move my object along the axes so in 3D environments we have three axes X, Y and Z and for the interest of this tutorial, I'm just going to refer to them as blue, green, and red. So if I wanted to move my camera up the axes, up the blue axes, I can go over to the camera, go to the blue arrow, I can hover my cursor over the blue arrow, and I'm going to push my left key, my left button on my mouse, and move that object up, down, up, down, up, down, however I would like to position it. Then I have the ability to move it along the red axis, same thing. Click on the arrow, move it up, down, up, down. Go to the green axis, move it up, down, up, down, or rather right to left, right to left. Then over here we've got a little dot. Does anyone guess what this dot is? I'm going to go and activate it, which means I'm going to go over to the object. I'm going to right click and now it's active. And I can do the same thing I do with my camera. I can move it up, down, up, down with the blue axes, or along the red axes, or along the green axes. Does anyone know what this is? Some people argue this is the most important tool 
um, in any 3D modeling and animation software. This round dot is our lighting source. And as you get a little bit more advanced with 3D modeling and animation, which may happen as you advance through the academy sequence, um, how an object interacts with light is very much what makes your animation um, look real or not real. So what I'd like you to do now, just while I'm talking a little bit about Blender, is just go around and activate the different objects in your scene and move them around. Okay? So activate an object with the right click, with the right um, button, just one simple click, and then move the object around, up, down, across the green axes, and around your scene. So if you do that for me, and while you're doing that, I'm just going to introduce you to one other um, aspect to Blender before I set you with an activity. So if you've noticed, um, if I left click and I'm not, and I'm not wor um, working on any of the axes, I'm just left clicking in space, you will see that I'm moving around this little right, red and white circle with um, a black cross through it. This is um, actually referred to as the cursor. And the only thing you really need to know about the cursor at this stage of using Blender is that this cursor, wherever you place it, will be the location of a new object or a new mesh object that you add to your scene. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some additional objects to our scene. Okay. We're going to add some additional objects to our scene. And how we do that is we go over to the top left hand button here and we, we see the word add. Click add, left click, mesh, because we want to add a mesh object and I'm going to add a UV sphere. And if you remember in the last video tutorial, I demonstrated how a UV sphere is made up of polygons by switching to the wireframe and showing you all these square shapes that make up this object. So why doesn't everyone now go and add at least two other objects to their scene, at least two other objects to their scene, but just bear in mind, use that cursor to place that object, left button, Click Add, Mesh, and I'm going to add a cylinder. And there you can see I've got my cylinder. So the activity for uh, today, right now, is what I'd like you to do is just move your objects around, okay? Right-clicking them to activate different objects. Move them, relocate them however you wish. Reassemble them. If you want, you can place them on top of each other. Um, anything that you would like to do, you can place them inside each other if you want. But your objective is I'd like you to go up here, top left hand, um, top left hand corner again, click on render, render image, and I want you to create an image that has your three objects clearly in view of the, with the camera. So uh, click on render, I'm just going to go back to um, show, um, hide render view. So you can see, um, if you want, you can create a second window. So I go up to that top uh, right-hand corner till the X comes up, move this second window in. We covered this in the last tutorial. Shut this down. I go down to view, and I can click on camera view. And you can see that my objects aren't that well in the camera view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this window to move my objects around, right-click to, to activate them, left-click along the axes to move them around, and all I'm going to do is move them along the axes, and I'm going to place these three objects clearly in camera view. And then I'm going to render my scene. I'm going to go up to render, render image. And you can see, if I just close this window down, I have my three objects clearly in view. So that's what I'd like you to do now. Feel free to play around with where the camera is, where the lighting source is. Okay. And our only object is to add at least three geometric shapes in view of the camera.